Thank you, Deputy Estea. You're I welcome. will review the verdict form and then I will present it to the clerk to be published. Today is the 26th, correct? Yes, it is. So, all right, I am going to present the verdict form to. Madam Clerk, Mr. Summers, I'll ask that you please stand for the publishing of the verdict. Thank you. State of Florida versus Trevor Stephen Summers, case number 2017 CF 3896, Trial Division 2. We, the jury, find as follows as to count one. The defendant is guilty of attempted murder in the first degree and did the defendant personally carry, display, use, threaten, or attempt to use a weapon? Yes. We, the jury, finds as follows as to count two. The defendant is guilty of attempted in the first degree, and the defendant personally carry, display, use, threaten, or attempt to use a weapon? Yes. We, the jury, find as follows as to count three. The defendant is guilty of kidnapping as charged. We, the jury, find as follows as to count four. The defendant is guilty of sexual battery by a person 18 or older upon a victim 18 or older as charged. Did a defendant sexually organ penetrate the vagina of Alicia Summers, yes. We, the jury, find as follows as to count five. The defendant is guilty of sexual battery by a person 18 or older upon the victim 18 or older as charged. And did the defendant's sexual organ penetrate the vagina of Alicia Summers, yes. We, the jury, find as follows as to count six. The defendant is guilty of child neglect as charged. We, the jury, find as follows as to count seven. The defendant is guilty of child neglect as charged. We, the jury, find as follows as to count eight. The defendant is guilty of child neglect as charged. We, the jury, find as follows as to count nine. The defendant is guilty of child neglect as charged. We, the jury, find as follows as to count 10. The defendant is guilty of grand theft motor vehicle as charged. We, the jury, find as follows as to count 11. The defendant is guilty of violation of domestic violence injunction as charged. So say we all dated this 26th day of August. 2022, Eric McClare, four person of the jury. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Mr. Summers, you may be seated. Let me ask, does either side wish the court to have the jury polled at this time? State? Yes, Judge. All right. Gentlemen of the jury, what that means is the clerk is going to ask each one of you individually whether the verdict that she published is, in fact, your true and correct verdict in this case. Jury one. Juror one, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror two, is this your true and cor correct verdict? Yes. Juror three, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, ma'am. Juror four, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror five, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, ma'am. Juror six, is the, this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Thank you again, Madam Clerk. Is there anything from either side before the court dismisses this jury? State? Nothing from the state, Your Honor. Mr. Summers? Uh, nothing from me, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. Gentlemen of the jury, this is the last time that I'm going to have an opportunity to thank you for your very important service, your attention here during this trial, and your patience with me and everyone else here. 
I am at this time able to release you from all of the prior things that I said about not doing any research, not looking up stuff, not talking to others. As you've noticed, there are cameras in the courtroom. I imagine there are media reports about this crime, you are well, about this trial. You are welcome now to go and watch those, to look up things, to talk to people. You can tell now your friends, family members, co-workers um, about the trial. Lastly, your deliberations carry with them a very special protection, and you, are, you only have to talk about those deliberations by court order, I, and that's a rare occasion, but you are able to talk if you decide about your deliberations. That is entirely up to you. So we have letters for you that indicates that you were here all week. I don't know that those letters actually indicate how many hours each day that you were here, but you know now what a tough job it is, and I thank you on behalf of the judges, the parties, the attorneys, the citizens of Hillsborough County for your very important civic duty. With that said, I am going to release you at this time. Please have a safe trip home and an enjoyable weekend. All rise for the jury. Jury has exited. Everyone may be seated. Mr. Summers, the next phase, well, first I'm going to adjudicate you on all 11 counts and revoke any previous bond that may have been um, uh, posed against you. But the next stage is the sentencing, and you are entitled, again, to representation since it is a different stage of the proceedings if you so wish. So would you like to be represented by an attorney, that attorney would be your standby attorney, Mr. Marchese, at the sentencing phase of this trial? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I would. Okay, so Mr. Marchese, if you'll come on back down, um, I will... Excuse me, Judge, I don't have my jacket. That's all right, no, it's not a problem. But I will um, reappoint you from standby counsel to counsel for sentencing. Let me turn to the state now to see, I do not know about Mr. Summers' prior record. Actually, I guess I do when we went through the colloquy on whether he was going to testify. He had four prior, but those were misdemeanors? Four prior misdemeanors, Judge. He has six federal counts that he's awaiting sentencing on up north, but he would be entitled to a PSI. That vote was, yeah, that's, I guess, what I was getting to. He certainly can waive that. If he wishes, Mr. Marchese, would you like to talk to him at this time about his entitlement to a pre-sentence investigation and whether he wishes to waive such entitlement? I, I, Absolutely. Take we do not want to waive a pre-sentence investigation. We agree with the state. And I also mentioned some of those felonies are more than ten. Uh, some of those misdemeanors are more than ten years. We okay. Well, the the change. state will ultimately be preparing a, um, a score sheet, and I'll ask that they send that to you to take a look at to see if there's any dispute over the score sheet. But in the meantime, we will have the Department of Correction.